And let me show you guys this. This is the best way to trade. <laughs> In this ultimate trading guide for the wild darkness, I'll be covering the best methods of trading and how you can best take advantage of natural materials for trading. Get your pencil and paper ready because this one's going to be a lot of math. At the beginning of your adventure through the wild darkness, natural materials are a must have as it's used to construct buildings and handy tools. But as the game progresses onward, natural materials begin to lose their value fast. So now you just have a lot of useless junk in your garage. Here in my garage. That's why I'm here to tell you the best ways to use that useless material into something that's worth a lot more in trade what? value. I'll also go over even better methods that aren't really that natural. Best ways to scam your local trader. Everyone should know how trees can be used for trading by now. Well, at least half of it. Upon cutting down a tree, you can look forward to obtaining logs and sticks. Although rare, you can also obtain pixie dust and trent sap. Sticks are easy. <laughs> You can craft sticks into staffs and trade them for a point value of one. Hey, this is a great time to introduce the Wild Darkness trading system. Wah, wah. The Wild Darkness trading system can be understood if you're going to understand basic algebra. Each item the trader has to offer is worth a certain amount. We call these certain amounts points. Since there isn't an actual currency in the game, this is the best way to determine trading costs. Point values can range from being 0.25 of a point or maybe even 25 points. Wow. This right here is an equipment blueprint. This is worth a total of one point. This on the other hand is worth five points. It's called the Crest of Transcendence. Knowing the point values of these two items will help us towards knowing what's the best to trade by the base points. So going back to sticks, we know it's worth one point. So you can buy one equipment blueprint for just one stick. And if you have five sticks, that equals five total points. You can buy yourself a Crest of Transcendence. This big brain time. Now that you have an idea of how the Wild Darkness trading system works, let's move on to logs. Logs traded in by default are worth like negative one of a point. Luckily, there's a way for you to make logs worth 10 times more. We can do this by taking advantage of the kiln. The kiln is responsible for turning normal logs into burnt ones. The burnt form of a log is called charcoal. Charcoal in the shop is valued at a roughly 0.25 of a point. Adding on to this, you can stack charcoal up for one inventory space up to 20. So a stack of charcoal is worth 0.25 times 20, five total points. That's enough to get you a crest of transcendence. I don't know about you, but that's a pretty good deal. And you can even mass produce kilns and cause global The next things you can obtain from trees are pixie dust and trent sap. In the market, pixie dust is valued at 0.33 per piece and trent sap is valued at 0.5 a piece. Seeing as these materials are basically useless, this bumps up its value. I mean, potions? Pfft, don't make me laugh. Who needs potions when you can one-shot everything? Pixie dust and trent sap are just extras that you get from cutting down trees, so their value is actually not that bad. To wrap things up, sticks and charcoal are the best ways to use wood for trading. Pixie dust and trent sap are just extras that you can still use for good value in trading with a merchant. Look at that, we just learned how to turn trees a useless natural material into something more valuable to trade with. Don't worry, there are more ways of using natural materials towards trading and definitely more unique ways of scamming the merchants. Grass has to be ranked as number one on the top 10 most useless items in the wild darkness. Fortunately, we can turn this useless item into something more valuable in trading. Upon cutting grass, you can obtain grass along with magic seeds, worms, and hemp at a rare chance. Let's look at how we can turn some of these into valuable trading material. All of these trading items are surprisingly worth a lot. Let's first begin with grass. Grass alone has little to no value. This is why we should not trade with grass. Instead, we can turn grass into something more valuable in trading by utilizing the workbench. With the workbench, you have access to craft lassos. Lassos in trading are worth 0.5 of a point. Think about that. You just turn a basically no value item into something that's worth half a point. And you only have to use four bushes in total just to make one single lasso. That's a steal. Moving on from bushes and lassos, we can begin to look at hemp. I looked at all the ways hemp can be used, like turning it into linen and even making clothes out of it. The unsurprising conclusion to this is that clothes made from hemp are worth more than linen or hemp, but by only 0.1 of a point. Trading four lining gets you a total of one point, so one divided by four is 0.25. Trading 10 hemp also gets you a total of one point, so one divided by 10 is 0.1. Lastly, with shabby clothes, you need three lining in total, which requires nine total hemp, which is 0.9 points, and it's traded for a total of one point. 
so you get a 0.1 increase. Next up are magic seeds and worms. The value of these two things honestly might shock you. There's just a lot of surprises in this video. Both of these items in the market are valued at 0.25 each. So now all those useless worms and seeds in your garage can go to good use. To be honest guys, worms and seeds are something I don't use often. So this in my eyes is a pretty good deal. So here's the chart for the grass section. Lassos are on top with 0.5 right above worms and magic seeds, which are both worth 0.25. Hemp can stack up to 20, so that 0.1 can turn into a total of 2 points. Lassos will be your main way of trading with grass, because that's the most of the abundance you're going to get. Let's see what the last natural material we will be trading. The last useless natural material we're going to turn into something valuable is hide. After this, I'll show you the best ways to scan oh, the no. trader. The hide can be gathered through killing any animal, and once you get to that late game, you've killed so many animals that there's just a lot of hide waiting in the back. We gotta put that to good use somehow. Yeah. The trading cost or value of hide is 0.1. Not that good. Looking at all the ways you can use hide, turning into leather, using the tanning bed, making leather vests, and crafting crude pouches. Here are my results. Leather is worth 0.2, so just 0.1 more than hide itself. Not that great of value. Then the crude pouch, which comes at a total of one point. There we go. We're seeing some good value increases so far. Lastly, the leather vest. I had low hopes going into this one, but surprisingly, each leather vest goes in the market for two total points. <laughs> yeah, that surprised me as well. Leather vests are your best option for using that useless hide. I mean, you did just turn two hides, which is worth 0.2 into a leather vest, which is worth 10 times that. Now that we're done with all that basic stuff, let's go to the big boy stuff. Knowledge. You thought all that basic stuff was good? Mm. Wait until you hear about this one. Water bottles. Yes, water bottles. Unknown to the wide darkness community, well, water bottles are valued a lot to these guys. I've done some testing and it seems you can buy one crest of transcendence for 30 bottles. Do five points divided by 30 bottles, which is 1.66 and onward per bottle. And hear this, it's replenishable. Hey, let's go! Bottles are worth a lot of value, plus it's replenishable. This basically means you can infinitely trade with the merchants by only using bottles. Here's a strategy that I worked out by using bottles. First, find a water source, preferably a clean one. If not, that's fine, any water source will work. Next, you're gonna fill all bottles with water. If you have dirty water, that's where you're gonna plop the cooking oven. Then, just mass trade all your bottles with the trader. Boom! unlimited trading source. The more bottles, the better. I once had many potions, and so I emptied them all to make empty bottles for trading. I recommend having at least 30 bottles because that's enough to get you a crest of transcendence forever. Water bottles are honestly the best way to scam the merchant, but there's more. Continuing off of drinks, we can dove into tea. Teas are an effective way to get rid of those tea slash potion ingredients that you don't really use because, well, you either have flash strike or a one-shot weapon. I've tested all teas and it looks like all of them are worth a total of two points each. Even the big tea, which is ginseng tea, is still worth two points. Salt can be used for making cuisines and uh, not much else. Salt is also pretty rare to find, so this might explain why salt is so, what the f Salt is worth around 1.25 to 1.35 or more. My head hurts too much to know the exact amount. Salt is a material that you should probably stop using for cooking cuisines because it adds zero value to the meal. Salt is much more effective as a trading material. If the merchant comes out with any lawsuits against you for scamming, know that I'm not responsible and do not tolerate any kind of behavior. I am just a middleman. Please don't come knocking on my- Everybody!